This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're going to be talking about the dishwasher fill valve. This is one from a Bosch dishwasher and here is where the water comes in from the dish or from the uh, outside source from your house. There's a, usually a 90 degree angle here and the flexible line brings this in then flows through here and this electromagnet here when energized with 110 volts at these terminals produces an electromagnetic field that lifts up on a little piston that lets the water flow through from the house pressure and then through here into another flexible line into your dishwasher. Sometimes these fill valves stop working and one of the symptoms is not enough water enters the dishwasher Another is it becomes very noisy when it's filling, it makes a, a grinding type of a sound. Or when the piston tries to close under spring pressure, the spring pressure is not enough and it also makes a lot of noise and it keeps letting water flow in. Even when you turn the dishwasher off, even when you unplug it, water is still flowing into your dishwasher, which will cause a flood situation. So this is how these work. We'll just take this apart here real quick. This electromagnet here, called a coil or a solenoid, can be removed. And there's a pair of pliers to help you. You can just grab it and twist, pull away, and it'll come off of it'll come off of this piston area. Here we go. So this is just hollow inside. This is copper wire, and with the 110 volts it creates a powerful magnetic field and that lifts up on a little piston inside here. We're going to take this off by just untwisting it. Give it a little start with the pliers and then when we untwist it what we find inside back in. <clears throat> this is the piston that we were speaking of with a rubber seat at the bottom which helps when it goes down it seal, makes a watertight seal and inside here we have a spring that pushes that piston down when it's not uh, when it's not energized with the electromagnetic field. And the spring sometimes will just get weak over time and it won't push that piston down enough to seal and water will keep flowing in and that can cause the flooding situation. So you could theoretically repair these things if you grab the spring and replace it. You could even use one from a, uh, a pin, very similar. Maybe even pulling it out slightly may give it enough push again to push this down and create get rid of the flooding situation. The best thing would be to replace the whole valve assembly. But in a pinch, you could just stretch the spring out and you could just put it back in you can load the piston back into the cylinder and we can see that it has a little bit of spring pressure to push it in against the seat. So in here is the inside of the fill valve with the solenoid removed. We have this section which has a little tiny hole in it right here at the top. And then here we have the area where the water comes up and is controlled by that piston. One thing you can do too is you can remove this brass piece to clear a, a filter. That pink filter in there can be removed. And to do that we just use a Phillips head screwdriver, remove these four screws real quick. And we can get to that filter. Those filters can get full of scale or deteriorated rubber from gasket. What we see inside here is an O-ring which helps to make a watertight seal against this brass piece. And then if we grab this pink filter with a pair of pliers, it has a little ridge on it you can grab. You can pull that out <clears throat> and we can see inside here we have a little hole with another type of a filter in there to block things and this is the filter that comes before it 
we can see that there is a little bit of debris scale that's built up. I pulled these out before where they're just full of scale and that's preventing enough water from entering the dishwasher where the dishwasher won't work as well and sometimes won't even go to circulation because it doesn't fill up enough. So cleaning this filter a lot of times can solve your dishwasher problems. So I hope this has been informative for you. It's talking about how the fill valve works and some things you can do to do a slight repair if you need to just get it to work a little bit longer. These types of fill valves are also used on washing machines, very similar. And this type of coil is used on gas dryers to pull up on a <clears throat> very similar a little piston that opens up and lets gas flow. So appreciate you watching. Hope you can subscribe to our channel. It's got the Fix-It Guy YouTube. And thanks again. Bye-bye.